In this video, I'm going to show you how you can align the menu in the nav bar in Bootstrap Studio. So let's head over to the program. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose a new design and I'm going to choose this theme. And for this one, I'm going to go into the desktop view. So I'm going to click on the LG option. So this is how your website should look like on a desktop PC or a laptop, etc. So you can actually position the menu to either the left hand side, the central position or the right hand side if you want to. So I'm just going to get rid of the brand option in a minute as it will get in the way. So I'm going to delete that. So to change the position of this, what you need to do is go to the overview option and you need to make sure that the nav bar is expanded. So under nav bar, click on the little arrow next to it until it expands. And then you want to choose the nav bar collapse option. So again, you want to click on the arrow next to that. And then you can see there's a nav option. So make sure that's selected. So click on that until it goes blue. And you can see there's a blue line around the menu icons. So to change the position of these, it's quite simple. Go to the options tab. So make sure options is selected. And right at the very top, there's a nav in nav bar option. And you can see you may need to click on it to expand. You can see there's an alignment option. So default is the left hand side. Start is also left. Center is obviously dead center and end is on the right hand side. So choose the option you want. So I'm going to go for center. And if I preview that in the web browser, let's make that a bit bigger. And as you can see, the menu is now dead center. And if I make the browser smaller until it goes into mobile view, you can now see that the mobile icon also appears. So you can also change the position of this mobile icon. So you can click on that for a drop down menu. So to do this is a little bit more tricky. So there doesn't appear to be any kind of um, direct option for doing this, but I did find a way to do it. So again, go to the, or first of all, click on the MD option so you can see the actual icon and then go to the overview option and this time we want to select the nav bar toggle. So make sure that's selected. We can now see that the icon is selected. So again, on the options tab, there doesn't appear to be any kind of direct option to put this either left, uh, center or right. But if you do go down to the flex box option, click on that to expand. So don't choose any of the top options as these don't appear to work. Either there's a bug in the system or the developers just haven't got rain to um, add in the option yet. But if you do go down to the marginal auto option, you can select some of these options. So if I select the horizontal option, you can see it goes dead in the middle. The um, start option for some reason goes to the right hand side. And I think the horizontal option, no, sorry, the vertical option goes to the left hand side. So again, just play rain with these options. Again, I'm not quite sure whether this is the official way to do it, but for the time being, there doesn't seem to be any other option. So I'm going to choose horizontal, which is dead center. Again, if I preview it. So this is how it looks on a desktop. And as I make the page smaller, we can now see that the mobile icon is dead center and if i click on that you can also see a drop down menu so you can also change the position of this menu either left center or right so to do this again under the nav bar option this time make sure the nav bar collapse option is selected and don't go to options this time go to appearance and under the font um, option again you may need to click on it to expand Right in the bottom is alignment and we can choose left, center or right. So I'm going to choose center. And if I go back to the, my web browser, click on that, you can now see the drop down menu is dead center. So this is how it looks desktop and this is how it looks mobile. So that's how you can align the menu in the nav bar. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.